は興奮を求めて戦ってる応援がつくのはボーナスだ髪を抜ける風歯に詰まった虫崖から飛び降りる旅が Everyone, Thor and Smash here, and today we're going to be talking about the Urban Assault Collection event coming up on Tuesday. But with it, we got our first look at some teasers for an altar that appears to be coming into the game. And it confirms some other leaks that we got, in, and it makes the whole thing with Destroyer 2009 actually pretty interesting because it seems that that isn't going to be the only hacker impacting Apex Legends currently. We're going to go over everything you guys need to know, but also we're going to give out one of the Octane Prestige skins. All you guys got to do is like, comment, subscribe, and you're entered for a chance to win. But without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. So, with the trailer for the new Urban Assault Collection, event we actually got a ton of information not only about the event which does actually look pretty cool the skins are pretty all right and fantastic probably some of the best that we've seen in quite some time i will say though that the prestige skin for octane is pretty mid the first and second tier are actually okay this probably has to be one of the worst third tiers i've ever seen it's made up for it by a pretty cool finisher and it does get a dive trail i'm still waiting for the original like four prestige skins to get a dive trail but that's i guess never gonna happen at this point it feels like regardless though something very very cool in the trailer that we saw was that alter made Their first ever appearance, at least in a kind of hacking way. On the leaderboard for a new game mode called Rumble, you can see them placed at number one above Mad Maggie and Octane. Of course, Octane's in third. Gotta sell those skins, right? It's kind of weird that Mad Maggie is number two. You would have thought someone like Horizon, who's gonna be the other main culprit. But regardless, Alter made her first appearance there. And at the end of the trailer, you can actually hear her laugh right here. <laughs> Now, obviously, it's a pretty evil, cackly laugh, so we're gonna assume that she's a pretty evil character. Oz actually gave us some backstory that she is actually insane because her parents got killed, and she can dimension travel, which we've already seen by the giant alternate version of Olympus actually traveling through the maps. But something that Oz actually didn't put in his information about her backstory that I actually included a couple days later was the fact that Alter is supposed to be a very good hacker. Almost very akin to crypto, which I was told directly referenced. And it's gonna be a big promo for her launch. In fact, she's apparently gonna be hacking into the Apex games. You can even see a tweet here not too long ago by Josh Medina, where they talked about the last LTM where they had lockdown and they had a bunch of the content creators come in and try out the event. He said, Sad I missed this one last week, and hopefully there are more of these in the future. Hint, hint. That's actually not too much of a hint, hint. As I said with the hacking thing, She is going to end up hacking the pre recorded footage from what I understand of the content creators who have already played the game. At least that's what I've been told. It's not 100% confirmed. Once again, it's a leak that could always change, but it does make sense with everything else we've seen where she is already hacking into the trailers. It kind of puts the whole season kind of in a crazy perspective when you have the whole aimbot activated on Hal and Jen's PC and ALGS. That happened due to Destroyer 2009. There's a whole thing where Respawn had to put out a statement because the game had safety concerns and issues. And while I highly doubt that that was planned and coordinated with the Alter hacking ability, it is a kind of crazy coincidence. And I feel like there's gonna be a lot of connections made between those two. Overall, Alter seems like a super cool and super interesting character, but I will say it might be kind of bad to release her at this time, especially when players are losing a lot of their battle pass progress, their cosmetics, their heirlooms. This all happened on April 16th. The week before that, people lost all their progress for the breakout flatline challenges. Along with all their other ranked badges. And then the week before that, like I just said, there was the ALGS hack. And now they're adding a new legend in that is actually literally hacking the games as well. It's just like kind of a crazy coincidence that the conspiracy theorist in me is like, maybe they pre planned all of this, but there's no way that they could possibly have thought that it would be a good idea to remove people's cosmetics. So I just chalk it up to, wow, this is just like one of the craziest coincidences in Apex Legends history. Now, along with that, the event actually does have a lot of cool stuff. Like, for instance, this is much better than the Universal Heirloom Collection event, Shadow Society, because we can actually buy the skins directly. Techware Tough Bundle and the Suburban Ranger Bundle for both Newcastle and Vantage will be purchasable. Plus, you get seven and three Apex packs for each skin, which does help you get the Octane Prestige skin cheaper if you are planning on doing that. Once again, fantastic. Also, three strikes is back, and anytime that comes back, it's an absolute win with some changes. The revive time is reduced to two seconds. Players revive with 100% health and 0% shield, which means that Respawn did listen to the feedback about Newcastle and Lifeline and have made adjustments so it's a little bit more fair. Also, the best and coolest thing about this, and this is actually where Alter made her appearance, is the brand new Rumble mode, which is pretty interesting. And also does confirm that leak from a couple seasons ago about Rumble being brought into the game. Well, that is actually what this is called now. And in the future, we'll actually have a solos and quads mode for season 21. This is considered what they are saying actually the beta test of Rumble. 
they're going to take a ton of feedback from this and actually improve it for season 21. But you will be able to play three strikes solo and you'll actually be able to use your red tokens now to go back into the match. That is correct. Once an Apex Rumble match is concluded, rewards will be delivered based on your overall placement, but you can actually jump back in using your red tokens. I don't know if this is actually a good idea or not, because it could be a way to actually get you to spend some of them and then have to buy the recolors with your actual money. But at the same time, we haven't had anything to use Apex Legends tokens on in a very long time. So I'm actually 100% for this. Let me know down below, are you guys excited for season 21 coming up so soon? What about the Urban Assault Collection event? And how do you feel about Alter and her backstory and her hacking her way into the Apex games? Also, don't forget to check out this channel right here where I cover information on Helldivers, Finals, Power World, and so much more. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying the Outlands, and I'll see you out there.